Man, I'm gonna tell awesome. you something that awesome, man. all my coaches share, you know, and it, it really helps me choose my staff. I don't have a guy on staff that's not a great father. Gotcha. Like that's real to me. Yeah. Like you can't be a father. You cannot be a father of your kids and, and try to raise these kids. That ain't something wrong with that. Yeah. You got to take your home. Yeah. To be able to take care of these kids over here because these kids it, it's 120 of these when we get started. Yeah. So. All my coaches, man, I've seen them, I've watched them, I've witnessed them with their kids, and they're unbelievable. And that's Come on, boom me up. Boom. 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 Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Swimming. He let the family come Daddy's out. Swimming. Family man, that's what I love about him. He loves family. That's and right. He want, and it's crazy. He wants you to be at home to eat dinner with your family. Absolutely. Man. He's I always asking me about my daughters and what they're doing. I never always. heard that before. Oh, wait, I know. When I first got here, coach was like, hey, I want you at home to eat dinner. That's right. I was like, what? That's right. Five o'clock. That's right. Man, I appreciate you, coach. <laughs> appreciate you. It ain't like that everywhere, you know. No, it ain't like that everywhere. Trust me. No. In the office from 6 to 11, 12. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I haven't even what? seen these, these this little girl What's grow up. What's up, sunshine? Neela, it's like she was born and now she's four. So I'm always at the office. I got a, a lot better the now, quality of life here, though. Quality of life is so much better. I'm back to loving ball, man. Coach Brown brought that passion back. You know, I was starting to lose it because of so much time and my kids was affected, my relationship with my wife was affected. It's back now. That's right. Back. How can it not be back? I mean, look at it's what back. we come to work to every day. Look blessing. at what we come, look at all these fans that come see us every day. I mean, this is amazing. It's a blessing. We are amazing. It's, say, go it's Buffs. Such a, look, such tell a blessing to be out here. Say, Mr. Neal, say, go Buffs. Go Buffs. <laughs> say it again. Go Buffs. Tell them we coming. <laughs> we tell come, them we say coming. Say we coming. We coming. That's right, baby. <laughs> they born daily. My biological father, that song Papa Was a Rolling Stone, it was written for him. He was a drug addict. He was the prime side of me, that Janessa quad, that, 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 that charisma. He had all of that in the bag of chips. He could talk his way out of anything and everything, and he was prime. My stepfather, who was an alcoholic, but a good alcoholic, never abused my mother, got drunk, went in there, laid in the bed and went to sleep, got up and went to work the next day. I loved him. <laughs> At an early age, I'm never going to do either. And sitting before you today, I can comfortably say, and God is my witness. I've never tasted alcohol in my life, and I've never been high a day in my life. Right now, you really are supposed to clap. Uh, and how have you been navigating moving here and, and inheriting this team, this offense, and getting it ready yeah. with being a husband and a father? Yeah, it, it's a... Uh, it's a great blend and it was really early on before I even made the transition and made the move right it was like I think the first three or four conversations that coach and I had was about family and the importance of that as we have this great profession and this great career I think it's it doesn't feel like work right to be able to pour into these young men but you know the the love that I have for my wife who's my high school sweetheart and all the transitions that we've been through together right having her by my side and and being her best partner, her mm -hmm. best friend, and she's my best friend through this whole thing, has helped with that transition, right? And then the role of all the different titles that I have, there, there's none that's more important to me than being a father, mm -hmm. right? Being a, being a father to my son, being a father to my daughter, and having the ability with coach to have that be the priority, mm -hmm. knowing that the job's still gonna get done here in the facility allows me to be the best version of myself in all those phases. So it's a, it's a delicate juggling act. There is no balance. To who I am today in a multitude of ways. My, my Pee Wee League coach, uh, Coach Dave Cable, who's passed away now, he came over to the hood and got me and took me to the other side of town and gave me an opportunity. I had never been on an airplane. They my parents. I had never been on a plane before. They put us on our first plane after we won and went and played a bowl game in Atlanta, Georgia, and another time in uh, North Carolina. But during that process, I was in the inner city. I was in the hood. All I saw, the, the way out was, was selling dope, um, job corps, or you going to the military. And I didn't like any of those options. But on that team that I had when I was seven years old, it was the chief of police. It was the mayor of the city. Um, this, this person here owned a painting company. This person here owned a real estate company. So I would go over those young men's homes after the game, and I would see a long driveway with a beautiful home at the end of it. I would see tennis courts in the backyard. I saw swimming pools. I saw a family eat together for during my first time. And I said, oh, so, so this is how they doing this. 
So when I went back to the hood where I lived, I didn't get caught in the trappings of life. I didn't get caught in with the drug dealers. I didn't get caught up with the drinkers. I didn't get caught up with the whoremongers. I didn't get caught up in the nonsense because I had seen the vision. So he gave me vision. And next thing you know, I go to high school and, and, and my coach Ron Hoover, disciplinary, kicked me off the team my junior year and I was him. Him, I mean, I'm the man. But he had a rule that said if you got suspended, you get thrown off the team. I was in the library minding my own business and the fight ensued. I'm breaking it up because that's who I am. And she just saw me in the mist. She said, you were being insubordinate. Since I was in the library, I looked it up. <laughs> I didn't know what that meant. And it was far detached from what I was trying to do, but we had a rule. Nevertheless, I got kicked off the team, but it taught me leadership. A leader should never put themselves in a situation like that. A leader should always lead from the front or the back or the middle, whichever one you choose. But it taught me a lot. Then I journeyed on to the next level, went to Florida State. Not only Bobby Bowden was who that man was, a man of God, a man of value, a man of principles, but my position coach, Mickey Andrews, was a dog. He was, he was that real father figure, that tough dude. Like, if James Evans from Good Times was white, he would have been James Evans. <laughs> <laughs> That's who he was. And I learned so much from that man and still today when I get caught up in a situation coaching, I pick up a phone and call him. And it's been so many people that attributed to who I am today that coaches are everything to me. So that's why I understand the impact that I have on my kids that I coach and other kids around the country. I truly understand the impact. Because it's funny how athletes have coaching and we're somewhat successful, some were deemed to be successful, but I think everyone should have a coach. That's what I just saw you do, yeah. coach. That's what you all do, you're a coach. You should all have a coach in some form or fashion. You should have a relationship coach, because ain't none of us can get that right. You should, you, should, you, should, you should have a friendship coach and learn how to truly be a friend. You should have a business coach, you know what you mean, a financial coach, a job coach. You should have a plethora of coaches so you can get it right. And when you get weary, you need to have that coach sitting up there saying, come on, you can do this. On the fight, I love boxing, right? We're in Vegas. Don't they have someone in the corner telling you everything? And then when you come back in the corner, they say, okay, now you gotta hit him with the left, hit him with the right. They got a coach. You need to be coached. If you ever just turn yourself over to a man of leadership, like a man of principles, a man of integrity, and a man that can get you to where he's already been, you got it. Now you have a navigational system of life. You have a navigation system to take you everywhere, right? You should have a navigation navigation system to take you somewhere in life that you deem to go. Now that deserved a clap, but that was a good start. <laughs>